Hello. Hope everyone is having a blessed day. I am coming to you today to talk about Overcomer's Journey booklet. Uh, it was inspired by God, uh, came from Him, it comes from my heart, um, and I wanted to share it with the entire world. So, um, I will start at the beginning of it and we'll go through and talk and explain. So, uh, a few questions to think about before or while I go through this. I got to a point where I had to ask myself, am I tired of being tired? Am I tired of the same old? same old. You know, are you tired and sick of all the religious dialogue murmuring in the world? Are you ready to be transformed by Jesus Christ? Well, as I've said before, I was the founder of Overcomer's Journey. I was raised in a Christian home and I knew Christ Jesus, except for I truly didn't understand what it really meant to have a true relationship with him and what that looked like. The traditional church system just was not working for me anymore. The system did not show me how to have a true meaningful relationship with Christ Jesus. After many years of bad choices, I found myself in a place of total brokenness. And that's where a lot of people find themselves, total brokenness. I didn't like what I had become. I realized that choosing my way has ended up in failure after failure. And in the moment I, in that moment, I had two choices to make. I had two, same as you. We all have choices to make. And my two choices was give Jesus Christ everything. My past, present, future, all my bad choices, all my good choices, uh, all my hate, all my anger, all my rage, my love, my caring, my compassion, everything about my being, every fiber of my soul, I gave to him. Or I could have chose, feel sorry for myself and play the victim role. I mean, come on. There's too many people out here nowadays playing the victim role. I say to that, grow up. That's what we need to do as adults, grow up. We're not victims. I mean, in a sense, yes, we are victims, but when you give your heart over to Jesus, you can become an overcomer. You overcame what he's overcame. So let's talk some more. Overcomer's journey was birthed because I chose Christ Jesus as my Lord and Savior, who has overcome death, hell, and the grave. God wants you to know that he loves you. God loves you the way you are. In all your brokenness, in all your bad choices, in your uh, high times right now, in your low times, in your fear, in your depression, your anxiety, in your confusion, all of it. Before you were formed in the womb, he knew you. He knew you. He knew everything about you. He knows every bad choice you made and he still loves you. He wants you to rise up and become the daughters of the Most High God that you were created to be. So my goal is to bring God's word in a way that you've never heard before. This journey is going to open your heart your mind, your eyes, to a freedom that only comes through Christ Jesus. If you choose to change your life, my prayer is for encouragement to press in and press on towards a mark of a meaningful relationship with Jesus Christ while learning how to love yourself. That's important, loving yourself. This is your new beginning your new great awakening.
to be able to step out of a place where you are and become proud of the person God has created. This journey is going to be painful because you need to be honest with yourself. You will learn how to forgive and be forgiven. You will gain a godly foundation to sustain you for a greater future. Gain understanding and become of a sound mind. Becoming of a sound mind. In this day and age in society, we don't have that. And when you have that sound mind, you can truly know Christ Jesus. How to cherish your relationship with the Heavenly Father. You will truly, truly understand. And when your mind gets strong and you can overcome, uh, we call them fiery darts. Um, you know, the, the whispers of yourself telling you how bad you are. So, the Father loves you the way you are. Always the way you are. So, the next video will be over an introduction to becoming an overcomer. This was my personal journey to get to it. And I hope that it brings some comfort to you. That you are an overcomer. You just don't know it yet. God be with you. God loves you. Just call on to him. And he will set you free. He will open you in a way that you can see the world through his eyes. And that's what every one of us needs to do. Open up our eyes to truly see the world through his lens. Have a blessed day.